I'm in the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. In 1863, Lincoln gave one of the most famous speeches in American history, the Gettysburg Address. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. Those opening words and the rest of the speech are some of the most recognizable words in history. They speak to us beyond the Civil War, asking the same question. Will the American experiment be proven correct? Can freedom and cooperation coexist? Will the Constitution and all the countries that America inspired persist? A hundred years later, 18 steps from Lincoln, another speech was made. A speech that is regularly voted as the most famous speech in American history. It was proclaimed to a large crowd in 1963. The stone marking this spot has a simple engraving that says, I have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr., the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, August 28th, 1963. King's call echoed Lincoln, once again calling America to live out its ideals. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. The imposing figure of Lincoln and King's commemoration overlooks the Washington Monument, the Capitol Building, and the Supreme Court. A massive marble obelisk reaching up to the sky to celebrate America's first president and the buildings that house the leaders of the present age. The answer to Lincoln's test, the reality of King's vision, are not inevitable. They are not facts to be discovered in the fullness of time. They are answered by each of us in how we choose to act. My book is about the tools we now have at our disposal to guide us in knowing what we should do and how we should do it. By understanding the theory of everyone and the laws of life, we will know who we are and how we got here. We will understand how to tackle the challenges of polarization and diversity, of inequality and governance, of stagnant innovation, and where we could go if we so choose.